I'm back here on request of a Ukrainian two-star general that I met with in Kyiv over the summer. I came back to America because he told me, I asked him, what do you need? He said, Mark, what we really need you to do is we need you to go back to America and make sure that people don't forget about us. I'm a professional speaker, so I've been doing speaking events at churches and rotary clubs and lions clubs, and so with a mission to do that and follow those orders. My mindset was, what do I do to get people thinking about Ukraine and acting for Ukraine? I came up with Operation Sleepout. Peak of winter over there is January, just like, you know, here maybe, and it was getting down to 20 degrees at night. So I got my tent, I got my sleeping bag, and I arranged 16 different places around Fargo and Moorhead and down in my hometown of Ortonville to sleep and raised about $40,000 to, to ship about $100,000 worth of donated winter weather gear. Good morning from Eastern Ukraine. I just wanted to show you uh, how cold it is here, uh, even in late February. Out here, these folks are in trenches. I've been working unpaid out there in the war zone of Ukraine for eight of the last 10 months. I told my family down in Ortonville in the Appleton, Madison area, I need some money for medical supplies. Well, my 90-year-old uncle, Darrell, belongs to the AMVETS in Appleton. He and eight guys put together a pancake breakfast in Appleton, and they raised $2,500 to ship half a container. That's eight guys just doing what they can, and everybody contributing made a huge difference. That's what a little community out on the prairie did for people on the other side of the earth. Mm -hmm. I think that's a beautiful thing. So the A-Team is our nonprofit. It's a nod and a tribute to all of the volunteers that I've been working with. Some of them I met waiting for an Uber, some of them I met at the coffee shop, some of them I met waiting for baggage at the Warsaw Airport. This random group of 25 volunteers from eight different countries have come together and we all kind of liked each other and worked together well and supported each other in different ways. And with the questions about Ukrainian government corruption, you have to have somebody boots on the ground who can tell you exactly what's going on, mm -hmm. and then American donors could feel comfortable mm -hmm. donating money to a known entity and know that their money and donation was actually getting to where it was supposed to go. In Ortonville, Minnesota, where I grew up, in the flood of 97, we all showed up at the airport and sandbagged and saved our town, right? And that was, I was 16 years old, and it was the first time that I really realized, well, if everybody pitches in, you can do great big things. Gotta reach out and help one another. You can't hold off the floodwaters of the Red River of the North on your own. But if everybody in the community pitches in, same thing here. If everybody pitches in and helps these Ukrainian people, then this is a war that's winnable. In small communities, if you don't help, nobody's helping, right? It has to come from us. You just show up because it's your community. And then once you embed yourself in that community and become one of them, you realize, well, the, the language of helping is universal around the planet.